In today's video, we're giving you a five-step plan that will add $100,000 to your business savings account. Let's get into it right now. Hey guys, my name is Eddie Hood. I am the CEO of Ignite Spot Outsourced Accounting. In today's video, we're gonna give you a five-step plan that's gonna add $100,000 to your business's savings account. Now, this is crucial. You know, in my role being the accountant for hundreds of businesses all over the country, I get to look under the hood and I've gotta tell you, not many businesses have an actual savings account and it is crucial, crucial, crucial for your health and success as a company. Step number one, realize that every company starts right where you're at with the thought and the feeling that they have no money and no way to put money into savings. It's like this overwhelming feeling of, you know, gee, I would love to have a savings account. I would love to have $100,000 there for a rainy day, but I can barely afford to keep my business open right now. You might feel that way, but you've got to understand every business that has ever made it to the savings mecca of just a mountain of cash started where you're at. They felt the same way, so that is not an excuse. That's just a normal way to start this process. Step number two, the obvious thing you've got to do is go to your business banking center or your bank or whoever and speak with them and set up an actual savings account. Don't use your checking account. I don't want you to have just like an extra amount of money in checking. You've got to have a separate account that we're going to be forwarding money into each and every month. Step number three, I want you to run your business on 90%. I call this the 90% business, and this is a really hard thing for people to get into, but once you do it, it's actually quite easy. So you've got to get in the habit of running your business on just 90% of the money you bring in the door. So let's say you sell $50,000 of stuff every month. What I want you to do is take $5,000 out and set that into the savings account and figure out how to run your business on $45,000. Now this means you're gonna have to cut some costs, you're gonna have to change business models, you're gonna have to restructure things differently than they are right now, but if you don't do it, if you don't sit down and figure that out, you're never gonna have money in savings and you're always going to be living on the edge. Step number four, mark your calendar. This is all about setting up a goal and sticking to it. If you're going for the $100,000 mark, which you should, it's a great first goal to hit, uh, at $5,000 a month, clearly you'll get there in about 20 months. Now, it's actually not that long. You can do this, I know that you can, but make sure that each and every month you're just marking that little bit off and then moving on to the next month. Step number five, stop making excuses. Everybody loves the idea of saving money, but nobody wants to do it. We want to be compulsive. We want to go out and get things and go out to dinner and have fun and live in life right now. I get it, and but it's not even that. As a business owner, you've got expenses you've got to take care of, and you've got these things you feel you need to do to keep the doors open. But to be honest, most of those things can be put on pause or on hold, and really what you've got to do is make savings more important in your, in your mindset, in your psychology, because right now, if you're not saving at all, it's just not important to you. You've got to make it a number one priority so that you're protecting your business you know, from downturn in the economy or chaos, which is going to come. All right, guys, I hope this helps you figure out how to save money in your business. Really, the most important thing here is really setting up that 90% business. If you can run on 90% and put 10% into savings, you will get to $100,000 faster than you ever thought possible, but you've got to do it. I know it sounds hard, but if you just adjust the business model a little bit in your costs, every business can do it. I've done it with hundreds of companies you can do it as well. Until next time, guys, uh, well, before next time, like the video, subscribe, do all of that wonderful magical stuff, and until next time, have fun growing your businesses and stay profitable. Okay. Step two, the obvious thing you need to do is go to your bank account and speak, <laughs> all right. Step number four, I want you to mark your calendar. This is all about setting a goal. How long is it really gonna take you to hit $100,000? Hit a hundred, 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 hundred thousand dollars. Hundred, hundred, hundred. How's it gonna take you to hit a hundred? Can you like create some graphics with Benjamins just raining down on me right now? Yeah. <laughs> Show a bunch of, bunch of Benjamins. Okay, try that again.